You didn't really think you could keep me in the cell, did you, Marshal? But let me just see if I've got this straight, huh? So, on the one hand, you were more than happy to turn me over to Sweeney, even though I maintained my innocence. And on the other, you were more than happy to front for your precious Miss Kitty. Nothing personal, you said. Bullshit! Once Zack knew the truth of the situation, he fought to prevent Sweeney from taking you. Only to cover for her. It's not exactly like you're a pillar of the community, Lash. Hell, we could still bust your ass for kidnapping, gun running. You see, I didn't have any choice. Red Eye, he forced me to do those things. Attempted murder? Why don't you call me when you have proof, you poor bitch? No! Lash! Before I set Stell loose on you. Mm, Marshall, Marshall. I just want you to know that I'm not going to forget any of this. And when the time comes to settle the score between you and me, I promise you, it's going to be pretty damned personal. <laughs> Have a nice day. You're a woman of rare fire, Lash. And you're a man of rare timing, Jagar. The auction isn't for another two days. I'm not concerned with the auction. I've come to steal the draconium from you, huh. or offer you a sizable fortune for it, depending upon what kind of person you turned out to be. And what kind have you decided me to be? I begin to understand what Red Eye saw in you. Of course, your skin is disgustingly smooth. But then, there is some exotic appeal to that. Tell me, Jagar, do all your kind share the remarkable oh, stamina that Red Eye displayed? No. No? Most of us exceeded. Really? Yeah. Lead the way. Oh! should be getting to the mine. Yes, we really should. But I'm in no hurry. Neither am I. I was going to kill you after you showed me the mine. Oh, and I was going to kill you after I got the money. <laughs> Oh, of course not. <sighs> oh. 